how to edit your YouTube videos in 15 minutes using ScreenFlow. That's what I'm going to show you today. Are you ready? Hey entrepreneur, it's Salma Jafri from SalmaJafri.com and you are in the right place if you want to grow your personal brand with video. Hit the red subscribe button and the bell icon so you're the first to know when I upload a new video. Now this is a highly requested video on how to edit your videos. I'm going to show you how I edit my YouTube videos when I'm filming on a webcam and editing using ScreenFlow. Now when my husband does my editing, that's a little bit different because we film on a green screen and he uses Adobe Premiere Pro CC to edit. But what I want to show you today is that most editing systems have very similar interfaces. They all have a timeline and you all, you know, cut videos and edit videos pretty much the same way. It's just that the fancier software has a lot of bells and whistles, but basic software gets the job done. So I'm going to show you how to edit using ScreenFlow, but you can use any editing software and apply the same principles to it. Okay, so here I am inside ScreenFlow and this is the intro that I literally just recorded right now. And what you're going to see here is that all of the little snippets that I record are going to show up as files here. So there's the screen recording, that's my desktop. And this is from the Logitech webcam and that is me. So you can record in sections and just basically drag and drop each section into your timeline. So this is your timeline here. This is where all the editing is going to take place. And these are all the things you can do. So this is your video, all the stuff you can do, scale it, position it so I'm going to actually scale this all the way I'm going to make this I'm going to change the dimensions of the screen here and make sure that this video is uh, about 1080p uh, and then so now the dimensions are going to be 920 by 1080 which is perfect for YouTube so I'm going to update that and I'm going to just drag this over and make sure that it fits here into this little box because YouTube is 16 by 9. And so that's the video going to be. Okay, so I'm going to give you a quick hack on filming, which is that film in chunks. And that's going to make your editing a lot easier. So then you can just take all of your chunks of video that are on this right hand side and then just drag and drop them into your timeline like so. Okay, so that's what you want to do. Now, the other thing you want to do is have a three second pause before you start to speak and look into the camera and after you end speaking and then look again into the camera. That's going to make your editing a lot easier and it will avoid things like this happening where I looked away right at the end and I was still talking. So I hadn't finished making my point. That's going to make editing harder. So what you want to do is keep staring at the camera for three seconds after you are done talking like so. And then it's going to make the edit easier to cut. The other thing I wanted to show you here is that these are two uh, recording files here. And the reason that there are two of them is because I'm recording my face, which is this file. And then I'm also recording my screen, which is this file. So when I do tutorial videos, I often record both together. And you can choose that option in ScreenFlow to show all the stuff that you want to record together. So if you don't want to record your screen, you can just turn that option off. And then when I'm actually editing this, um, I, it's really easy. So whichever one is on top is the one that you'll be able to see first. So if I want to switch between them, I'll split the clip and then switch. And when I want to edit them, I will make sure that both of them are selected. So they're both highlighted right now in yellow. And then I'm going to use the audio to see where to start from. So for example, all of this is just stuff that I'm, I'm setting up and stuff. So what I'll do is just start from here and then split clip. And then I can just switch things around and put this below and put this up and it will make a nice seamless switch from when I'm on screen versus when the file's on screen. Here into this little box because YouTube is See, so that's how that works. Once I've done the content edit and I have taken out all the stuff I don't want, 
in the video and I've kept all the stuff I do want in the video. The next step is to adjust the picture quality and the audio. To do that, I'm going to go back into my screen flow. I'm going to go here onto video, choose the video that I want to edit. So in this case, I want to edit all of the files with me on the camera. So I'm going to choose all of them like so. I'm going to use the command function on my keyboard to do this and make sure they're all chosen like that. And then I'm going to adjust a couple of things. So the first thing I want to adjust is the saturation. So I could make this, let me make sure I'm here so you can see. Okay, so I can saturate the color to make it a little bit brighter or not. So depending on how your output from your webcam is, I was actually pretty happy with the 100%. So I'm just going to type that in again and leave that. Um, you can edit the contrast so you can make it just a little bit uh, more contrasty. I kind of like that. And then you can play around with the brightness as well, depending on how your webcam's output is. So those are three things that you can do to adjust the look of your video. The second thing you want to do is adjust the audio. So what I want to do is do select all. So uh, uh, command A uh, for the MacBook key, uh, keyboard shortcut. And then I want to go into audio here. And the first thing that I want to do is remove background noise. And I think that usually takes care of most of the audio issues for me. It's still working. It's still doing it right now. You can see the percentage right here. If you want, you can also smooth volume level. So if you have some really loud sounds and some really low sounds, you can use this to make sure that the audio uh, uh, fits into a certain range and doesn't go too high or too low. So those are the two things that I do to fix the picture quality as well as the audio quality. So our edit is looking pretty good now and what we want to add next is text. So I like to have text appearing on the screen for each sequential step and the way to do that is to go to text, click plus and add it in here. So I'm going to write Step one, adjust screen dimensions, fixed the spelling of that. <laughs> and then the next thing that I want to do is adjust the font and the size of this. So I'm going to go here. I actually like the size, 96 is fine. So I'm going to leave that. I'm going to change the font to Humanist, which is one of my brand fonts. And then I'm going to go here and just adjust the look and feel of this. So I don't want rounded corners and I want a, a lesser margin like so. And then I want to center align this like so, and then drag it out to fill the screen like so. And then what I can do is simply just copy this particular uh, step and this text. So control C and then the next place where I want to add step two, I just paste that in and then I can change the text to step two. Uh, make a content edit. I can also change the background colors of this if I want to. So I can just go here and click on color and either just choose a color or I can take something from the color wheel so I can do all of those options. Next, I'm going to add in my intro title right here, right after the hook. So I'm going to go to insert, choose, and I'm going to look for my title. Sorry, it was right here, title animation and I'm going to drop that into this little space, open this up and make sure that it slightly overlaps, but not too much. Something like that. Let's see how that sounds. Are you ready? Hey, entrepreneur, it's Salma Jaffrey from Salma. So this could be overlapping just a little bit more as well. Great. And then I want to add the subscribe animation. So I'm going to go again to insert, choose, and then I'm going to choose my subscribe animation. Insert that there. 
Hit the red subscribe button. Okay, so I want to adjust this. Adjust this to where I actually say it. With video. Hit the red subscribe Hit the red subscribe button. So I want to have it right there. Okay. Red subscribe button and the bell icon so you're the first to know when I upload a new video. Now this is a highly requested video. So I'm going to adjust that to a couple of seconds earlier so it stops playing once I'm done. Highly requested video. Perfect. The next thing I want to do is add my end screen template. So I'm all the way at the end of my video. I go to insert, uh, choose, and this is my end screen template. Put that in over there. And make sure that this is going to be 20 seconds. So I am going to extend this out to about 20 seconds or so in duration. And that's exactly right because 20 seconds is what you want to have for your YouTube end screen. And then you can record some B roll to put here, or you can have some other file playing while the end screen rolls on. Now, the absolute last thing that I'm going to add to my videos is B roll. B roll could come in the form of any kind of insert. Uh, it's just something to break up the pattern of what you're seeing on screen. So in this case, I don't really need B roll because I've already got like a lot of screencast and stuff happening in this video. But in case I do need B roll, my number one place is Pixabay and search for whatever um, you want to insert as a B-roll. So for example, you want to put in this image. What you would do is you'd basically go here, you'd uh, download this image, and then you'd go back into your um, screen flow. And you would go here and you would insert this image by going to insert and choose and inserting the image that you just downloaded. So for example, let's say this was the image you just downloaded, then you would just insert that and then the video would play by having you and then the image showing and then you continuing, right? So that's how you insert B-roll into your videos. I would love to know what editing software you are comfortable using or what you think you might be purchasing next or whether in fact you're even thinking of outsourcing your editing. Let me know all those options in the comment below. Remember to go after what you want and build a brand you love because you can be the media.